with the WB Hall of Fame, man, that really, really broke my heart. It, that really, really, you know, a lot of guys say, don't put it over. Don't now nah, screw that. I'm going to, I am going to share the authenticity and the truth about how that did affect me. I, for years, Devin, I campaigned and I uh, promoted my father as he's the fifth wrestler in the history of the WWE to become champion. He only held the belt for nine days, but he always told me, so Sean, that was the most happiest nine days of my life, apart from you being born. And God rest you, your soul, Dad. You know, um, he, you know, he back in his day, he was considered a transitional champion. They wanted to get the title from Pedro to Bruno to baby faces, but they needed a good heel. They needed a strong heel to make the transition. And so there was other heels that were there, but my dad was a good, solid heel and would be the perfect guy to get that piece of business done. And he did. But, you know, here's an original WWE champion, fifth wrestler in the history of the company. Here I am, uh, retired for many years. I go on to become a chiropractor. I'm not tooting my own horn, but I just want to give you the fans here a picture of this, this experience for me, okay? You don't read about me. You don't, I'm not, you're not, I'm not making negative uh, title uh, headlines. You don't, you know, I'm not in drug rehab. I'm not, you know, in pornography. I mean, I'm not trying to crap on anybody because we all go through our journeys and we all have, you know, our challenges. And so uh, for those people, uh, I'm making a reference here. I, I thought I went out and did some, a, a good community thing by becoming a community leader and being a healer with my hands as a chiropractor. I also developed a speaking career to light up the hearts and minds and souls of people to, to help them with their breakthroughs and help them stand in their greatness. Meaning I feel like my contributions since I've been out of wrestling have been, I'm not perfect, I've made mistakes, you know, and I'm gonna continue making mistakes. But, you know, I just, um, I feel like I just really got shit on on this one because I campaigned and I promoted for years on social media about, hey, what about Stan the Man? You know, yes, I'm gonna be biased. Yes, I'm. Uh, obviously, I'm his son. I'm going to be pushing for him. But don't you think he's worthy of a WWE Hall of Fame induction? I think so. You know, you have all these other people that are have made it. And, and God bless them for that. You know, I'm happy for everybody's success. I really am. But I must be hated or disliked so much in that company. And by the way, I never jumped on the concussion lawsuit. You know how many times I've been approached uh, for this lawsuit uh, and, and I, and you know, I never, I never jumped aboard that because for my own reason, I just didn't feel comfortable with it. I didn't feel like I, I might've suffered some concussions. I know I did, but I might've, uh, I might've suffered those from, you know, prior to that. I just didn't, I just didn't feel um, for me ethical to jump on that, um, you know, that case. Same with the unfortunate Benoit tragedy. You know, I was on, uh, I think it was Fox News, and I, you know, they're trying to drill me about, well, this big man, this and that and whatever, and have me try to throw Vince under the bus. I never did, because I'm, I'm, I'm an honest guy. I'm transparent. I'm going to tell it like it is, and I just, you know, it's unfortunate when it happened. It's a horrible thing that happened, um, but I just, what, my point is, I, if anything, I've had friends say, why are you sticking up for Vince? Why are you uh, sticking up for WWE. And, and the answer was because I just didn't have a reason not to um, just be honest. And I'm just coming from my own experience, you know? So I just felt, though, with what I have done, and again, not to my own horn, but going back to school, you know how hard that was, Devin, to make the transition to go from performing in front of 20,000 people and millions of people on TV back in a classroom taking biochemistry and and sitting next to some kids saying, hey, man, I played your video game. I played your character last night. Oh, good for you. Okay, yeah. You know, like it was a tough transition, but I got through it, became a chiropractor. I've been serving my community here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area for the past 15-plus years. Um, I am currently at Longhorn Injury and Rehab in Dallas for those that are local, so come out and see me. You'll be in great hands more ways than one. I know that was a cheap plug. But, uh, but when it came down to inducted my dad in the Hall of Fame, I thought that they would have enough class and enough uh, respect to say, hey, let's let's give Sean a call. Let's let's induct him in the Hall of Fame. I don't need Mr. T time on a podium. Give me five to seven minutes. If that I'll share a couple funny stories. 
I'll receive this award in my father's honor and in his name and our family name. Good night. Thank you. Goodbye. Right. That never came. I learned about my dad being inducted in the Hall of Fame through Twitter of wrestling fans. I just finished my workout at LA Fitness. I'm in the parking lot and I, my phone's blowing up and I'm seeing all this congratulations on social media. They're finally putting your dad in. And I knew at that point right then and there, Devin, I said, oh my God, they're not. Because the, the Hall of Fame was like the next day or two days from that point. I said, no one's called me. No one's informed me. They're going to go stick him in that let that legacy wing because the last two three years prior to that i would see this wing thing pop up and i said oh man i get nervous saying don't destroy his name in that thing and no disrespect to the legends that are in that wing i just felt that my dad deserved just a little bit more man than just throwing him in a 20 second video package and stick him in a, in a wing of, with a video package for WPs, you know for a, for a hall of fame induction i never was invited to the arena no one no one called me no one it, it, it was really truly a spit in the face and i took it that way i immediately called vince to have his number so i called vince right of course he didn't pick up and i figured he wouldn't i mean it's wrestlemania weekend and uh i text him i said vince you know please don't induct my dad this way wait till next year when you guys are in new york I think it's MetLife Arena or Stadium or something. Besides, this was in Louis. This was in New Orleans at the time. I think it was 2018, I believe. I think it was 2018 uh, Hall of Fame. I thought just just wait till next you know year. You're in New York. It just makes more sense. My dad was a bigger name in that area anyway, right? Just geographically, my dad was a big name everywhere he went, every territory he went. He was a uh, he was a top guy. He was a top heel for the most part, um, but. I just thought it was appropriate. You're going to be in the New York area. Let's just wait till next year and just give me five minutes. Give me 10 minutes. That's it. You know, let's do this right. And uh, he just texted me back, of course, and said, it's not a please don't take it personal. It's a, it's a company decision. Bullshit. <clears throat> Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.